Colleagues, my name is Archbishop Thabo Makhoba from the Anglican Church of Southern Africa and also the South African Council of Churches uh, President. Uh, I join uh, you and the voices uh, today as an active citizen determined to make our democracy work and to pursue the common good uh, in your vigilance on this particular matter. Today is indeed about our vigilance as South Africans. It is about holding our political elites accountable and raising uh, the bar to ensure that the big wigs in politics do not leave the poorest of the poor behind in the dividends of our democracy. Colleagues, you will recall that the Constitutional Court ordered specific changes to the electoral system in Mzansi uh, to be effected before December 2022. The Minister instituted a commission to address uh, this order. I'm informed that the bill before us uh, comes uh, from that process but that it is based on the views of the minority of the Commission members and not the majority. Our concern is, in its present form, it favours party political power in terms of slates and the right of recall. If an independent uh, candidate, say, dies, the seat is automatically assigned to the majority party with no by-election being called. So our vote in that instance does not count. So the reform bill presently favors political parties and centers power and control within them and not us, the electorate. We call and we want reforms that will bring more representative accountability to the people, not only to the party, and for our voters, citizens, to count. This is our principal stance. We want MPs accountable to the people and not to the political parties so that the national interest are placed above party politics. We also want the Zondo Commission recommendations to be seriously considered and implemented. In the bill, there is no protection for an MP to vote their conscience. If they do, they risk their livelihoods because the party can withdraw their membership and they will lose their seat. Perhaps we need to look at different models that exist within other constitutional democracies. What the bill is proposing, I'm informed, has not been implemented or practiced anywhere in the world. I know some people may say it is innovative, but it does not seem to cut the chase for us as citizens. And so we need to remember that the Constitutional Court does have residual powers to make laws under very narrow circumstances. So perhaps in this instance, rather than rush a bill that excludes accountability to the majority citizens and favors political parties, we may ask the Constitutional Court to draft an enabling bill that will take into consideration some of our concerns. Let's move forward in making our democracy work, in ensuring that the poorest of the poor are never left behind, and in holding our political part, uh, uh, leaders accountable and to lead with a clear conscience and to raise 
their moral bar and not to act with impunity. I thank you.